Hey, everybody. I'm Kelly Ellers. I'm Jeffrey Lennon. And this is Volume Up by The Tease. So over across the pond, as they say, Mm. (laughs) there's been a little something happening over there. And there was a coronation day for the king, the new king and the new queen. But in other news, let's talk about Kate Middleton's hair. I was going to say, the people that actually matter. Yes. yes. The people that actually looked mm-hmm. good and didn't mm-hmm. look like they were approaching. Mm. I'll just say it. Death's doorstep. They they look <laughs> awful. I mean, King Charles, we all know, reportedly quite unpopular. Um, mm-hmm. Lots of polling indicating as much. You know who's not <laughs> having that same problem? Exactly. Kate, Kate, Kate Middleton. Wills. Yep. All right. You know Tell what? me about. I mean, it was everywhere all over the internets and the socials, but (laughs) Kate Middleton was spot on her usual. And I feel like maybe I'd want to even frame that side eye photo that was everywhere because what was she thinking? Hmm? (laughs) What? Uh, I mean, how many days was it? It seemed never ending. The coronation. Far too many for such a grumpy old just man. A gr- and, and woman, right? Yeah, They're both the two just of them. grumpy together. Anyway. Her mudgeons on the crown. Yes. Just like getting that that tough. But yeah, I mean, Kate Middleton looked incredible. So She did. Let's talk about it. We're talking bold, classic, a little smoky winged eye makeup, which was a little, little more for her than usual. And yeah. a swept back braided bun framed by the glittering flower crown tiara. Hello. Yes, I would have went if I would have been able to be adorned as such. I mean, what was interesting (laughs) to me, because, yes, she looked incredible, um, as did most of her immediate family, um, Mm -hmm. was that this was supposed to be scaled back, given the sort of global financial situation. Like, can you imagine... If, it if we dialed it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good for her. Even in this instance, she looked incredible. Um, but yeah, I it, it leads me to wonder if the stakes were a little bit different. I if mean, we didn't have these worries. Uh, but I guess we just have to wait a few for her more day. years. I was going to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a minute or a couple years for, depending on where they are on said doorstep, yeah. um, to see if she you know, turns it up for her own husband's coronation. Yeah. And she'll be the queen. Yes. I don't know how mm-hmm. this all works. Yeah. I think so. I mean, if, if Camilla gets to be the right. queen, I can't Come imagine on. someone who's actually popular. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like, well, yeah, they want her to be the queen. Um, yeah, they I, do. I but know can, nothing about the monarchy. You know, and like the last thing I'm going to say, <laughs> I text <laughs> a colleague of mine who is mm-hmm. hyper invested mm-hmm. in yes, all yes. things royal. And my only comment was, I'm just so mad that Camilla is queen. That was my sentiment. Because I think I'll you handle- and Mm-mm. millions of others, myself <laughs> included, I'm right there with you. I, it is, it's a lot to ask to, to care about those two. Indeed. So anyway, also Harry was there too, but we, that could be a whole episode, right? Okay. <laughs> So <laughs> let's focus on our episode, shall we? Last week, we talked with Katie Alm. Katie is a hairstylist, Joyco artistic educator, and Olivia Garden brand ambassador. Katie recently closed her sixth chair salon and fell in love with the salon suite lifestyle. She travels with her hair color company, doing training, photo shoots, salon education, and so much more. She also loves filming silly content for her TikTok, check her out, and specializes in lived in creative color. She says she's just a girl who loves her job and all things beauty. And I shall say the same about myself. (laughs) <laughs> make sure you subscribe rate and review and follow us on instagram facebook twitter youtube and tiktok at read the teas and send in questions volume up at the tease.com this week we're talking with justice jackson justice is a natural hair content creator that makes tutorial styled videos and afro art she's been creating content for for four years now with 184,000 followers on Instagram and 1.9 million on TikTok. Justice is in the process of establishing her own brand, which we talk about on the podcast app. You guys are not going to want to miss this, uh, especially as she talks about the process um, behind coming up with some of these looks. So speaking of royalty, there is also a show on the flicks that Mm. has come out. 
and it is called Queen Charlotte. Have you watched Queen Charlotte? I've not seen a single episode. Okay. However, and we'll still get into Mm -hmm. it, not unlike the actual British monarchy, (laughs) I'm unable to escape the coverage. Um, So I know all about how Shondaland, uh, which was producing, I guess, the whatever, the first two, Bridgerton. Yes, Bridgerton, of course. But but Shonda Rhimes herself apparently wasn't as hands-on in those as she is in this. And that is a big Mm -hmm. thing that the media machine would love me to understand. And so I've heard that a lot. (laughs) Um, But tell me more, Kelly. What's up? So here's the deal. The Queen Charlotte star, India Armentifio, talks about her character's reimagined natural hair. And this Mm. show is actually doing it right, right? So, Um, (laughs) yeah, I mean, we've said it on this podcast. There's Mm -hmm. another big show for Mm -hmm. another streamer um, about some dragons, we'll just say, uh, (laughs) that didn't necessarily get it right when it came to characters of color and natural hair texture, specifically with wig and hair design. Whereas this show, I mean, it sounds like from every aspect, this was thought through. And so, yeah, just talk, talk to us a little bit about it. Yeah, so she's saying that her hair is very similar to how she has it in the actual show, noting that she wore a wig even similar to her own natural curls, which Mm -hmm. I love so much. I mean, the origin of her character is that it's the young Queen Charlotte, right? So um, what's cool about it is she noted like having her hair exist in her natural kind of way and to be accepted and fully loved by someone else um, within the show um, and not having to confine to traditional beauty standards uh, was a cherry on top of her playing this role. Yeah, I feel like I might actually have to watch it, maybe just for the hair design. Um, it's um, unreal. Yeah, yeah, we need to find the stylist, the head stylist that is uh, responsible for this, and have said stylist on the pod. Stay tuned. Well done. <laughs> All right, let's talk about things that are trending on our site. Our editorial team has been hard at work this week uncovering industry news, looking into trends, and diving into brands that you don't know but probably should. Mm -hmm. And here are some of our favorite headlines. First up, Haley Williams and Brian O'Connor's Good Die Young is now at Ulta Beauty. It's a great time to be an Ulta shopper. As of this week, Good Die Young, the ultra cool vivid hair dye brand that was founded by Paramore lead singer Haley Williams and her longtime hairstylist Brian O'Connor, has officially hit the beauty retailer shelves, both in store and online. If you've been hoping to treat yourself or your clients to some of Good Die Young's incredible vegan and cruelty free dyes, consider this your sign to take the plunge and put all of those ultimate rewards to good use. Not sure where to start. From the brand's best selling Lightning Kick, to their cult favorite semi-perm shades and dye posit hues that color lovers can't get enough of, Good Dye Young's full product lineup will be available to shop at all Ulta Beauty locations nationwide and, as we said, online. All of their offerings will be falling under Ulta's Conscious Beauty category as well. Head to thetees.com to learn more. Kelly, we've just established they make this easy. There's lightning kits, yep. there's deposits, mm-hmm. semi-perm color. hmm do we see a vivid <laughs> shade in your future? You know, I don't know if if there's a brand that could convince me. I mean, Good Die Young is shaking it up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, in this category, and we haven't seen a lot of shake up in many years from the original OG back in the day with the vivid. So I personally love the looks. I love that there are beginner friendly starter kits. So mm-hmm. if I did want to embrace on that journey, this is where I would head. Got to tell you. Yeah, I'm just all about the branding, truthfully. So it's I'm excited. Amazing. I might, I might change it up for Ooh, something. We'll see. We'll see. I would love we'll that see. for you. Mm-hmm. I would, I would do. It's. I think it's time. Um. All right. We actually talked about this very look on our last podcast. This was one of your top mm-hmm. Met picks. The article is called "Here's How Hairstylist Danielle Priano Styled Cara Delevingne's Off White Shag for the 2023 Met Gala." Last week, we went through some of our favorite looks, but this week we're diving in how to get that look. Cara Delevingne's silvery shag definitely took the crown for the most dazzling look for the evening, with Delevingne serving as the guest of honor for Lagerfeld's eponymous label at the gala, special planning when to creating this show-stopping look. Uh, It was a wig moment, surprising, Mm -hmm. I think, no one. Um, According to our hairstylist, this was to pay homage to Carl. Um, Head to thetekees.com to get that breakdown. Kelly... As mm-hmm. established, this was one of your tops. It was. If you were to add a wig to cart, is this something that we would share with our hairstylist? And would we see this maybe mm. in the future for a gala or something? 
I think this could be added to said cart because wouldn't you just have a moment if you saw me enter the I'd fall out of my chair. I'd fall out of my chair. I think you could actually pull it off though. I mean, Hmm. it seemed, it's pretty detailed in terms of how we care for the hair before applying the wig. Indeed. Um, You know, the wig... Uh, we, we, you'd have to make sure that your stylist could could do it, but yes, but I'd like to see it. Okay, well, you never know what I could come up with. Let's just put it there. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here, y'all. Um, <laughs> this might be something that we just add to your cart and have appear on your <laughs> doorstep one day. Um, okay, and next up, we've got everything that you need to know about Ulta Beauty's gorgeous hair event, including mm-hmm. the best deals. Make room in your kits and clear out your styling station. Salon pros, Ulta Beauty's gorgeous hair event is just around the corner. And we've got a feeling that you're going to want to hear these things and snag some of these amazing mm-hmm. deals. For the unfamiliar, this three-week long sale offers a whopping 50% off of the beauty retailer's best-selling hair products. We're talking about several of your favorite brands, including Bumble and Bumble, Nature Lab, Tokyo, Sexy Hair, Wet Brush, Andrew Fitzsimmons Hair, and so many more uh, mm-hmm. that are up for grabs during this incredible event. Head to the tease.com to see all of our picks that we would be adding to cart if we were you, um, which leads me to the question. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, what are you shopping? You know, I just for the name alone, the Andrew Fitzsimmons discreet AF dry shampoo. I mm-hmm. want to find out just how discreet it is in my dark hair. Okay. That's because... a challenge if ever I've heard one. <laughs> Careful, Andrew. Does it leave a cast of white of a little bit of, you know, or is it discreet? So I'm stocking up on that. I'm going to give it a whirl. I've also been toying with the idea of, do I need a new curling iron? I feel like it's not curling as tight as I mm. want. And so maybe I'll just venture over into a hot tool curling iron. You never know what the world can bring. Well, I'm all about it. If you do <laughs> add some things, purchase, let us know about it. Um, and if you're out there and you take advantage of this sale, Tell us what you're buying at home. Please do. We want to hear. As always, so much going on at thetease.com. Thank you to our hardworking editors. We're proud to publish stories that salon pros and consumers care about. Be sure to hit subscribe, rate, and review, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at Read the Tees, and send in questions to volume up at thetease.com. Volume Up is a Tease Media production. This episode was produced by Monica Hickey and Madeline Hickey. Brian Daly is our editor and audio engineer. Thank you to Josh Landowski and Nathan Folks for the custom Volume Up theme song. And thank you to our creative team for putting together the graphics for this episode. 